The Saints will get revenge against the Falcons. And this time, they're going to beat them 26 to 9. That's what I've got the score being. As we all know, last time when the Saints played the Falcons at home, the unthinkable happened. They lost to the Falcons. They lost to them 26 to 9. I, as many of the Saints fans, were shocked by this. But you know what? This is not going to ever happen again. There is no way that the Saints will not score a touchdown against the Falcons or any other team as long as Drew Brees and Sean Payton is there. So I don't see that happening. The Saints are going to come out just playing well. Drew Brees will have a big day against the Atlanta Falcons defense. He's going to throw for over 300 yards. He's going to have three touchdowns. He's going to play very well. Michael Thomas will play very well too. He's going to have a 100-yard receiving day. It doesn't matter if the Saints put one, two, or even three defenders on him. He's going to find a way to get open, and he'll score a touchdown. Jared Cook, that Great tight end for the Saints. He's going to cook that Falcon secondary. So he'll be doing his thing in the middle of the field, catching those intermediate passes. He'll probably have about 70 yards catching, 70 receiving yards, excuse me. And then Alvin Kamara will come out of the backfield and he'll cause fits for the Falcon secondary. So offensively, I'm not worried about them. I believe though that their tackle Armstead will be out. But hey, it's all good. Whoever fills in for Armstead will do a great job. Ramzik has got the other side covered. He's playing very well. So offensively, I'm not concerned at all. On the defense, they're going to find a way to staffle Matt Ryan. So Mighty Ice is going to be in for a tough day. I'm looking for Cam Jordan to have a great game. Davenport is going to have a great game too. So they're going to be coming ready to sack. Mr. Matt Ryan and they're gonna have a few sacks they'll probably each have a sack or two and then the Mario Davis and Klein those linebackers they'll have a great game the same secondary they'll cause headaches and fits for Julio Jones I don't see him having a great game so the Saints defense will come alive they will neutralize that Falcons offense and I don't see them doing too much on Thursday night so the Saints will have a great game. They're going to beat the Falcons 26-9. Sean Payton is going to have this team ready to play. I'm not worried at all, not even one single bit. I just don't see the Falcons beating the Saints. As we know, the Saints are, are a, a legitimate team, and they're going to find a way to win. We know that they're playoff bound, so currently I believe they're 9-2. After this game, they'll be 10-2, and, and all of these wins are going to keep them positive, going to keep them hungry, are going to keep them motivated. The Saints know that they've got to dominate the NFC South in order to increase their chances of making the playoffs. So right now, they're playing very well. They're playing fantastic football. They're winning close games. They're winning blowouts. This is a great team from top to bottom. I like what they're doing. We're going to see a great performance from them on Thursday when they play the Falcons. It's going to be a great game to watch, and I'm looking forward to watching it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. You should definitely subscribe to my channel. If you haven't done so already, just press the subscribe button below this video. If you did that, I greatly appreciate it. And plus, by subscribing, you wouldn't miss out on any future content that I post. So, you should definitely subscribe. Thanks again for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope that all of you have a blessed, wonderful day.